it was a very great privilege to meet such a great artist and then trying to have a collaborator it's a very great privilege the, the total song was written by her oh it was written by her and so she gave you lines to say yeah what does your line say uh, it says no one can love me like you she was mysterious card she prepared me a table before my enemies even in my weakness you've been merciful to me Bebol away, bebol away, now. So this song talks a lot about me, and then I think it will also talk a lot about you too over there watching this. Why is it talks a lot about you? What's about you that I see? <laughs> okay, uh, like to say, uh, I'm not just I'm from a not a very good background actually, but still the Lord has brought us far. Mm, what like, does mommy do? What does daddy do? Okay, Daddy uh, actually after giving birth to me ran away. Yeah, but I was still with mommy and then mommy was actually a trader. We continue to continue to continue and then we've come out here. Now that you're a star, you're a star, have you seen traces of daddy? Yeah, no, I've not. So you haven't ever seen your dad? No. How do you manage that? How old do you say you are uh, twelve years, is that what you said? So for twelve years you haven't seen daddy? No. When you see your colleagues in class bring their fathers to school and all that, how does it? Does it I feel normal. Mm. Yeah, I feel normal. Is there a father figure in your life? Mm, yes, sometimes. Sometimes. But I, I feel normal when I see them, the children bringing the parents, the daddies, and then etc. I feel, although I feel like I should have, I, uh, when my daddy was to be here, I would feel somehow comfortable. But I, I feel some normal. Hope that this is not affecting your classroom work. No, not at all. Not at all.